Hi, it's Kasha McDaniel, and I am a home stager decorator, and you're listening to the Creative Home Podcast, where I talk about staging and decorating and all things associated with your home. So take a listen. Updating your home and want to know the latest trends for 2022? I've been looking around stores lately and let me share what I observed and how it hooked me into buying it for my home. This episode is sponsored by 30 Easy Tips to Get Your House Ready to Sell. It's my free checklist that you can download and use to get you ready to move. It has 30 easy tips for each room in the house and the outside so that you make a great first impression and that buyers will want to make offers on your home, sometimes even over asking price. So download your free checklist, 30 easy tips to get your house ready to sell today at bit.ly B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash 30 three zero easy tips. Hello everybody and welcome to another Creative Home Podcast. My name is Kasha. Thank you so much for listening today. And especially we're going to talk about the latest trends for 2022. Um, I was shopping for Christmas decor this past weekend. I know, don't shoot me. It's kind of early still, I know. But I finally found a canvas piece of artwork that I have been looking for for months. (laughs) I have a blank wall. It's my living area between the living room and dining room because it's all open. Um, And of course, you don't have any blank walls. And when you do, it's between windows. So when you have an open concept floor, there aren't that many walls to decorate. But this one wall was just stumping me. It didn't, I couldn't find the artwork that I needed. So I have a blank wall that's about five feet wide with a sofa table against it, but I need something that could fit it. So I've been looking for months to find um, artwork that wasn't too small or didn't require extra nails. I just wanted one piece of artwork. That just makes it so much easier just to fill the space with one piece versus like a collage of like three pieces or whatever, you know? And plus, since we're renting the house, I don't want to add any more nails in the wall that I have to fix and patch up later, okay? Um, so the artwork is actually mostly white, um, but it's an uh, orchid. The, it has three orchid, white orchid blooms on it with the green leaves, and so there's some greenery in there, and then it's kind of a beige kind of a background, and my walls are white, um, so it still stands out. The green does a really nice job, which is kind of just punching out with color on that piece of canvas and on um, the artwork itself. Um, So it works really great with my, I have a big Monstera, it's a fake leaf. (laughs) Um, One of the big ones that I got from Ikea, I have it on a vase on the table. Um, And it goes really well with the greens and everything there that it actually goes with Christmas decor because guess what? Green is one of the Christmas colors, right? If you love, you know, greens and reds and, you know, some people do different color schemes for Christmas and that's fine. For me, I love with the the greens and things like that, which is one of the things that is a trend for 2022 is connecting with nature. And green is a fantastic color to connect with nature. And so it just worked so well. So not only was it a big piece, it was only 10 bucks really 12 bucks because it was 10 euros. Um, but yeah, it was, it's a thin, it's, you know, piece of artwork. It's, you know, it looks fantastic right there. It grows great with the Christmas colors. Um, and I actually got like a little, um, gnome on skis with a, with a very light pink hat. And then the other things that I bought to go with it to kind of complete it, I had these little small miniature balls like ornament balls that are pink with different designs. So I've got the green, pink, white color motifs going on here. So that for sure goes with the trend of connecting to nature. So, but if you don't like green, greens are also great if you wanna, if you have like a mid-century modern home, nature is a big part of the mid-century modern type home feel, okay? Um, And also, you can, like I have my Monstera leaf. If you have a fig tree, maybe a palm tree or snake plants. I have these little, I have, I have still have this little small um, snake plant. It's probably about six inches tall. It's not very big. Um, it's not one of those big potted ones that you can see sometimes in other places, 
but mine is growing <laughs> and it has little buds and everything too. So that's another way to connect with nature, to have little plants like that. And I tend, I, I don't really have a green thumb, you could say. It, I thank God this snake plant doesn't require much water. If I remember to, my thing is I always remember to water it on Saturday mornings when I'm putting the dishes away and things like that. It just so happens to be that Saturday is my day to water the plant. So once a week on Saturdays, I water that and my other snake plant that I have. So anything you can connect with nature, so plants, things like that. Another thing that I bought just recently too was this um, clear, well, it's frosted kind of a big jar and it has nature scenes on it, like etched in it. So it has deers and trees and white snow so definitely a winter kind of a theme which you may not be able to get away with year round but you might be able to um at least for now you can get away with it for you know november december january february march you can get away with that for like you know a good five months or so um when it is cold especially if you live in a colder climate it definitely goes and that's with the connecting with nature as well so it can be the brown things, like, you know, those little oval, round um, uh, tree um, circles that you'll see. You know, cause sometimes they'll have them in a bundle of, like, six. And I use those for setting my candles on so they're not, you know, just on a table or something with the wax. So it's a little piece of wood that's a circle of, you know, cut someone cut off a, a large chunk off of a tree branch and stuff and, and then that's part of nature too so anything you connect with nature which has been going on for a while now it's not just a 2022 trend i've heard this you know in 21 and maybe even the previous year but this is an ongoing trend this is something you can easily incorporate into your home um, if you want to you know go with the trend okay Another thing that's been going on, especially with COVID, that has people in their houses more now than before, is having a multifunctional space or furniture, meaning you should have more convertible type um, furniture. So like Murphy beds come to mind, okay? Or repurposing things like a big armoire that you may have had for a closet, well now you use it for a craft center or something like that. Or maybe you have it in your dining room and you don't use it as a dining room, you use it as a homeschooling thing because maybe you don't, you know, you have your kids at home and they're being homeschooled, okay? So multifunctional spaces and furniture, um, things that just do double duty. And now I, lo I know I've seen a lot of YouTube videos, especially in big cities like Tokyo, um, any place in Japan, even where you have like cramped for space, there's so many different things that you can use pieces of furniture that people just convert, like, you know, it's hidden a table, you know, um, a table that transforms from being a small square thing to a large one when you have larger parties, you know. So there's so many different ways you can convert your spaces and use them in different ways, whether it's for an office, whether you're homeschooling. Maybe it's for, you know, the library. Maybe not using your dining room as a dining room anymore, right? But you're using it because your kids are being homeschooled. So they have a large, you know, a table to sit at, and then you have bookcases in there for the books that they need, right? Things like that. So think about that as multifunctional spaces and looking at your home, not just as one room, one purpose, but maybe multi-purpose, okay? All right. Uh, another um, trend for 2022 are earth colors, meaning things like the brown kind of caramel color, tan and chocolate browns, combining them with soft cream colors. So maybe you fall in love with a, a leather kind of a couch or a chair or something like that in those, you know, chocolate browns or caramel. Um, when you pair it with, you know, soft cream textured pillows, you know, uh, or a throw blanket. That's a great color, especially for an office. You know, maybe you've had to make turn transition a room into an office. Maybe it's the dining room that now has become that office. You know what I mean? You can certainly add those colors into your office, have a place to sit, you know, off to the side away from your desk. Maybe the desk has that chocolate brown color. Um, and then you have your chair that you're going to be sitting at, you know, anything of those, you know, those colors you can incorporate in almost every single room. Normally I kind of see that more in like living rooms, offices, it could even be, 
you know, um, the dining room, those kinds of things, because you can easily change, like, you know, the cushions on your dining chairs, those kinds of things, okay? Another trend um, that's in 2022 is artisan and handmade objects. If you can find, you know, you, you, they probably pop out maybe where you live in Moore County, North Carolina. They have artisan handmade, the Holly and Market, Holly um, and Ivy, I think, Market. They have a lot of handmade gifts. There are a lot of people that are so creative um, that make different things that you can use to use in your home to decorate it. Um, Marketplace NC, my friend Marisa, has great, fantastic pieces that she has from people that make it from India and places in South America, I believe, um, all over the world. And they help these Christian ministries that help these uh, mostly ladies that create these soap bars, these baskets, these things that they weave, this ceramic stuff, especially Christmas stuff. Check out Marketplace and see, um, and you will find a lot of handmade artisan things that you can buy for yourself, buy for family and friends. Um, they're just fantastic. They're not your ch typical Chinese stuff that you'll see, you know, that the mass production. These are not mass produced. They're all handmade. So they all have their own little style. Like I have a shawl that I bought um, that was hand woven that I wear, especially now because it's wintertime. I'm like, oh, where's my shawl? I need to <laughs> put that on. It's like a sweater with pockets and things. So it's fantastic and nice and cozy warm. Um, so yeah, so take a look in your air if you can find those types of things to incorporate into your home decor. Um, another big thing, um, is antiques. Antiques are finally getting to be a little more, um, budget friendly, if you will. Um, so if you have maybe, uh, your parents or your grandparents, you know, gave you something like big, you know, armoire dresser or something or other that you're just like, well, those are some things that you can incorporate into your home as well, into your pieces. Okay. Um, so antiques are trending into 2022, especially ones with like curves. So anything curvy, so not square shaped, you know, hard edges on a couch, anything with round curves, um, chairs, like those barrel chairs, you know, those kinds of rounded type of thing. Um, even steps, if you curve, you know, like a front step, um, those kinds of things, those are trending. Okay. Uh, a couple more things I want to talk to you about are sustainable and organic material. So maybe you have, you know, the cork flooring or even your bed sheets are now with bamboo. They're a little more expensive. And I talked about that before in some previous uh, podcasts, but any kind of materials like that, um, that is something that people have been using more and more in their homes as well. Okay. Um, cabinets with color. You've probably seen a lot of that lately, like blue cabinets, green cabinets, not white kitchens. Okay. Now, if you already have a brand new house and a brand new white kitchen, that's perfectly fine. What I did, I have a white kitchen, um, and I love it. I still love it. But what I did to give color in there is that the granite and the quartz that I have in there, yes, I have both. The island, the kitchen island is a big, huge, like 10 foot long, eight foot long, 10 foot long, probably island so it's cabinets underneath it on both sides um and that's just granite and that's the rough kind of a granite it's not polished or anything i just love it because the rough texture and on the outer part i have quartz which is just like a solid light gray color but the granite is the one that's the showstopper that's the one that has the the browns the tans the grays in there so that it has all the color so it kind of breaks the monotony of the all white kitchen Okay. So cabinets with color is that, if that's something that you're looking to do because you're looking to update your kitchen, you're like, I just need some color in here. That's a trend again. So, but if you are looking to sell your home anytime soon, that's not something I would change at that point. Okay. If you just moved into a home, this is the time to do it. Okay. So, um, yeah. And then there's a lot more trends going on, but one more I want to um, bring up is, um, are the European influences, so you may see some more Mediterranean fused type things, Mediterranean like um, um, like uh, plaster type things with like a palm beach or Mediterranean um, type colors. So like the the blues, you know what I mean, the, the watercolors. 
with like a palm kind of a thing. So palm fronds and things like that. So that will also influence people's homes. If your house is not like that, maybe yours is more um, farmhouse or contemporary. Those may not quite go um, with the European influences, but if you have a traditional home, a colonial home, those will definitely work really well in your home if that's something that you want to do in your home to update it, okay? So like I said, I was really glad to see that um, painting that I finally found and I just love the green and the white. And while yes, it works with the holiday colors, it also works for all year round. I just changed the little tchotchkes that I have in the front for it. And, um, and it just finishes off, off the room really nicely. So take a look at some of those things if you're looking to update your home and getting with the home trends and how you can make your home more yours that is that is some of the things you can take a look at okay i hope you guys have a fantastic week and i will talk to you later